Hi folks, we're going to take a look at the last question from the uh, Lesson 3 worksheet. So here they give us a position function and they're asking us to find two things. So first of all, they want to know when the vehicle is moving toward and away from the origin and then they want to know when the vehicle is speeding up or slowing down. Okay, now both of these uh, questions involve working with the signs of uh, two of the position, velocity and acceleration functions. So I'll start with the moving toward and moving away in which we're going to need the um, position function and we're going to need the velocity function. So I'll find the velocity function here, okay, which is just the derivative of the uh, position function. Okay, so that's just 3t squared minus 4t plus 1. Okay, and since I'm going to need the acceleration function uh, for the second part when I'm looking at speeding up or slowing down, I might as well find that now. So the acceleration function is just the derivative of the velocity function, which is just the second derivative of the position function. Okay, so take the derivative there and it looks like we have uh, 6t minus 4. Okay, now solving this problem is all about uh, determining the signs of these functions. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is factor them so that I can uh, determine the zeros and uh, figure out whether they're positive or negative. So if we look at s of t, okay, here I notice that there's a common factor of t, so I'll start with that. So I'm left with t squared minus 2t plus 1. And lastly, I can factor this out. So this is just going to be a perfect square. It's just going to be t minus 1 squared. Okay, so the zeros of the position function occur at 0 and 1. So if I take the velocity function, which I already found, and I factor that, okay, that looks like it's nicely factorable. So here we've got uh, 3t minus 1 and t minus 1. Okay, so my zeros here occur at 1 third and at 1. And then for my acceleration function, again, I can factor out a 2. So I'm just left with 3t minus 2. So my 0 occurs at uh, 2 uh, two thirds. Okay, so now in order to easily figure out the relationships between the signs of these functions, I'm going to draw number lines uh, above each other here. So okay, so let's start with s of t. And what I need to make sure of is that my uh, scales are the same. So I'm always starting at 0. I don't care what happens before then. Okay. And I see that for s at t, well, there's a 0 at 0, and there's another one at 1. But since my other zeros all occur uh, at numbers smaller than 1, I'll place my 1 out here. Okay, so that when I get to my velocity function, okay, my, I'll still use 1 here. And the other 0 occurs at 1 third. So it occurs about there. Okay, and then for my acceleration, uh, Again, starting at 0, and the only 0 occurs at 2 thirds. Okay, and now let's find the signs. Okay, so here my um, uh, position function, okay, is a cubic with zeros at 0 and 1, and with an order 2, 0, 1. So I know that it has a positive leading coefficient, so I know the graph is going to come from negative infinity, go positive, and then it's going to just touch at 1. Okay, so it's going to be positive both in this interval and in that interval. Okay, so I see that I'm always to the right of my point of reference except at these two values where I'm actually at the point of reference. So now we go to the velocity function and it's a quadratic uh, opening upwards. So I know that my quadratic is going to look like this. So I know it goes positive, negative, positive. And then my acceleration is just linear and this is a line with a positive slope, so that means it's a line that goes like this, so I'm going from negative to positive. Okay, so let's start with these two functions here, okay, for moving away and moving towards. So let's start with moving away. So in order to be moving away from um, the point of reference, I need my uh, signs to be the same. Okay, so here I see that the signs are the same between 0 and 1 third. Okay, and here they're the opposite sign, and here they're the same after 1. So here we'll have union 1 to positive infinity. Okay, so now let's moving toward.
So moving toward, the signs have to be opposite, and I see the only place that the signs are opposite is in this interval here from one-third to one, where the velocity is negative and the position is positive. So I've just got one interval there, one-third to one. Okay, so now let's work with speeding up and slowing down. So speeding up. So this does not rely at all on the position. It has nothing to do with where I am. It has to do with the interaction between the velocity and acceleration. Okay, so for speeding up, we need the velocity and acceleration to have the same sign. Okay, and I look here, they have different signs. But in this interval, between a third and two-thirds, they're both negative. The velocity and the acceleration is negative. So here I have from one-third to two-thirds. Okay. And then here I see again positive and negative, and here positive and positive after one. So from one to positive infinity. Okay, now since they haven't given us uh, an end time, obviously it's not going to infinity, but since they haven't specified anything here, we'll just write it out as, you know, to positive infinity, which really means whenever this experiment ends. Okay, and let's look at slowing down. Okay, so we see that it slows down when the uh, velocity and acceleration have a different sign. Okay, and here we see they have a different sign from zero to a third, positive and negative. Okay, here same sign, and here uh, they have a different sign between two-thirds and one, where the acceleration is positive and the um, velocity is negative. Okay, so union... Uh, two-thirds to one okay and then here we should just specify that all times are in seconds okay just to make sure we take into account that there's a context here okay so just to repeat here but since we had to determine both moving away and toward and speeding up and slowing down, that's why I needed to find all three functions. In all cases, I needed to find their zeros so I could determine where they're positive and negative and then uh, looked at the relationship between position and velocity for moving away and toward and looked at the relationship between velocity and acceleration for speeding up and slowing down. Okay, and that's it for this question here.